To me, the Euro was a chance for a consciousness breakthrough. Uh, I always have visualized Europe as a rich fabric in which each culture has its own color. And it's the intertwining of them that actually makes like an embroidery rich feeling about it. So every culture keeps its qualities, but it's part of a harmonious whole as opposed to be a conflict zone. I am the first generation to reach my age in my lineage since the Middle Ages, since the, uh, the Crusades, to have lived to my age without having a war. My father went to war, my grandfathers went to war, and everyone before that had been living in a war. Of course, living in Belgium, which is called the buffer country, uh, makes that rather a bit predictable. But uh, that's the meaning of Europe. To me, it was the possibility of creating a peaceful zone with a rich intertwining of cultures. And the fabric, the economic fabric, is actually the money system. So that is what pulls together all the threads. So that's what I thought was a possibility. I also saw it as a possibility to introduce the flexibility for the changes that I knew were coming. These changes would be substantial, uh, and uh, they will be the biggest in any generation, actually, uh, in, in my lineage. Um, so uh, dealing with an old-fashioned uh, carcan of a simple single system, I knew was not going to be able to deal with what was coming. So I hoped to have some doors and some passageways in the design that actually would make the resilience, uh, the economic resilience stronger. Uh, that has not been possible. Uh, when I started talking of an earlier version of the Terra, of the a global currency, that's nobody's national currency, that would be capable of resisting any shock to the global system. Uh, I was ordered to shut up. Um, so we did what we could. The constraints were quite explicit. Number one, don't change anything in the system, just the geography. The number two, don't have an exit door. This is part of a strategy to actually pull the countries politically together in the long term. Uh, that was an explicit aim, so therefore no exit door. And uh, the third one is, um, well, let's deal with the governance system later. Uh, we'll just deal with the technical part. And of course the unraveling has been happening exactly in these weak spots. The governance is not in place, it was improvised. And one doesn't improvise monetary policy. I always say that, uh, it's one of the sayings in, the, in central bank circles, uh, monetary policy is like sausage. It's not a good idea to see it made. So, and they're making it in public with everybody looking behind them, hoping that uh, their electorate will not be too upset. Can't work. So it's a sad consequence, a dream that's probably dying.